Hello there, everybody! My name is Jerry Joe. Welcome to the game Outlast. Outlast. I know, I'm finally playing it. A couple months, a year late ish. -ness. But, I'm finally playing it. I'm gonna play this, and I'm gonna play Whistleblower. And it'll be awesome. I might have had a bit too much caffeine today. Hard. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content. I like that, and strong language. Please enjoy. It's like they put everything I love into one area. Thing. You are Miles Upshur. What's <laughs> up, dog, right? <laughs> What's up, dog? I don't know. An investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything you are not a fighter to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Man, that's pretty intense. Run, hide, or die? I think I'd run. Or I'd punch. But you know, apparently we're not a fighter, we can't swing arms. Do we have arms? We do have arms, okay, we're good. We have arms. Don't worry. Phew. Man. Of course the time we choose to drive up to an asylum is when we're on empty. That's fine. We have enough gas to get up this damn hill, I hope. Oh, I cannot focus on the road while driving. Well, that's good. I don't know how I'm doing this. I'm a pretty good driver. I want to look at the asylum. I can't. My head doesn't turn that far. So we have arms and our head is restricted to an area right in front of us. This is going to be tough. God, yeah, I had too much caffeine today. I don't even drink coffee. I didn't drink coffee. I just had like... Energy drink type thing. Not really though. It's a Starbucks refresher. Because I don't like coffee. I don't like coffee. Anyone home? Anyone in there? Get out. I see you. I'm with the press. My name is Miles Upshare. You might have heard of me. Kind of famous in these parts. Oh, hello. MuteMail.com. I never knew that was a place. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consultant work off psychiatric systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs and I'm very much... Oh, I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. I don't know what you said right there, but it sounds like a sure thing. <laughs> Puns! Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about the dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. What? People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Well, as long as we're making money here, why do we give a shit about anything, right? Did I just put batteries in the camera? Who the f I need to get up to date on my technology, because I am an investigative journalist reporter man. And I have an old, like, 1998 camera that still runs off batteries. I hope they're rechargeable. That'd be a waste if they're not. I don't think I have time to recharge, though. Unless my neck... Ooh, I should be a cyborg. Put the charger in my neck, pop him in while I'm running. Damn. I need to make that a thing. No! I'm trapped. Unless I ran my car through that fence. Who closed it? Who opened it? So many questions. So little time. To open the door quickly, press left mouse button. To open the door slowly, hold down... Never mind, that didn't work. Never mind, that didn't work. Oh, hold down left mouse button. <laughs> Not right mouse button. To raise your camcorder, I did that. Oh, yeah. I played like the first 10 minutes of this at my friend Oliver's house because he got it free on his PS4. And I watched Markiplier play the whistleblower. But other than that, I don't really know what the hell is going on. I didn't even get to finish the whistleblower because I was like, I want to play that. I really want to play that. All I know is that there's a lot of nudity or something. Naked people getting their dick sucked up. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Uh, sawed off is what I meant to say, not sucked off. That sounded a lot worse than it should have been. Oh no. Oh god. Lights are gone. Very mysterious. You're not scary. You can't scare me in caffeine mode. Nothing can, I don't think. 
to squeeze through, move towards the gap. I did. Are you proud of me, Mom? Are you proud of me now? Any files? No? Nothing? Well, that sucks. Any file? Ah! Fly! Give it! What do you say, Jay? Dr. Carl Houston. Patient claims to have progressed to self-direct lucid dream state morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale continuing stage 4 hormone schedule spirometry revealed no bronchi bronchial accumulation hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythro erythrocytes highly worrisome MRI revealed arrhythmic arrhythmic I can't even talk now REM, NREM cycle, laughter, and MREM, NREM state. I think I drool in NREM state. Is that close to laughter? Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. The only Traeger on company records one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All order leads and security personnel must be questioned in video security and proved to include analytical biometrics. No one knows what you're saying. Party time in the bath. One bathroom for men and women. It's not usually how it goes. Usually there's two, but you just did the whole... You combine them, so there's... Like... Okay, I guess I'll accept that. To reach air vent. Jump with space. I'm going to go this way. Oh, hello. Now you decide to come out of the bathroom when I'm gone? It was kind of a dumbass decision on his part. I was just in there. Oh, I like this asylum. They're just like, yeah, fuck it. Let them run free. We'll catch them. Like baby lambs. <laughs> oh, I closed the door in fear. <laughs> Let's open that back up. Ah, oh, there we are. Was it you who was screaming? You got a problem? Obviously, there's like a shard up your ass. I'm not sure what that is. Well, the music has a right to be playing. If he has no head, how did he scream? We've got to solve this mystery, gang. Oh, God. Oh. Thought I heard something behind me. None of them have heads. None of them have heads! Oh, I found their heads! You look cool. You look like you'd be in Power Rangers or something. I was at, uh, some Big Wow or something like that, and I met one of the dudes from Power Rangers. Oh, hello, I remember you. Yeah, how did I forget that part? Yeah, that killed you. But yeah, I met one of the dudes from Power Rangers. He was awesome. Whatever the... Gold Ranger? Samurai? Asian dude? He was awesome. He was so nice. I love talking control. to him. You're cool if you ever find me somehow. It probably won't happen. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. What? Well, I guess I'm leaving now. Back the way I came, right? No, obviously not. Ah! It's you, my burly friend. Ooh, another male-female bathroom. Someone shit out of hand. Is that even possible? What the fuck? I didn't want to be in here. Mm. Shitting of hands. This place is quite mysterious. Was it you, big men? Burly man. I remember this part at least. Little fig. Little fig. <laughs> Touch my body. And then I died. I think he landed on the spinal column. Usually if that's fractured, you can't walk. Looks like we're playing the rest of this game crawling. And who are you, then? Miles Upshur. You might know me from the newspaper articles I write about. Sure. Something like that. I have an internet site. I, I see. Yeah. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. I am not a apostle. your life, son. You have a calling. I guess I've got a calling. Is that good? I must be good, right? I'm a possum and people are calling me. My life dreams. Nice fingers. God, that's foreshadowing. I need to use my hands. Yes. 
What is with them cutting off everyone's head? What if I wanted to talk to someone? How is this possible now? None of them will be able to talk because they have no head. You have a head? You're one of the lucky ones. Stay vigilant, son. They collect heads. Alright, what am I doing? That's a way to go. God! Oh! You too! Sir! Oh, they cut out your eyes, apparently. Well, shit, we were close. He at least had a head. That's one step closer. Affidavits having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security who have reason to believe the catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of middle high school and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. Oh, Murkoff Harlan Security even says right there. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. This is just a note. Why, well, I wouldn't listen to this shit. But then again, I think they had guns, so we better listen. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives... <laughs> what happens with my relatives? Surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS, or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. Okay, so they're saying that they can't be held accountable from anyone. Like, if you die from them shooting you in the face, you're... I don't know, family members can't do shit about that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, you saw me. Touch your body. Well, this is nice. Where the fuck's the mop? I got a lot of blood to clean, clean up over here. He should not have saw what he saw. And I wish I didn't see what I saw. Oh! What is with people shitting out body parts here? I'm kind of afraid. Excuse me. Oh, you have a head! And eyes! We're moving up in the world, guys. Oh, batteries. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, what do you want? What do you want? Scare me, I dare you. That's what I thought, bitch. Too bitch for that bitch. I feel like Jesse from Breaking Bad now. Hello! All your phones are off the hooks. That's kind of a waste of electricity. If you could just hang that up whenever you're done sleeping. God, you really need to work out. Your ass is flatter than cardboard. Dear sirs, well, there's only one of me, but I appreciate the effort. The full report pending no immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Walrider, Walrider, well, well, rider <laughs> remains staggeringly high. Wall rider, I will say that he rides on walls. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties, as with the others. However, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints have proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control profit. Murkoff, Legal Mitigation Department. These evil bastards, I have no clue what is going on. This is pretty dark. Ah, someone went in there. And, of course, they lock it. Why should we have to pay for it? Why did we have to pay for it? Let me tell you, man. So, there was once a lonely farmer, and he didn't like cows, so he chose to slaughtering people and wanted their heads. And that's why you have to pay for it. Oh, bug. Just because I have my lamp right in my face right here, the bug wants to fly around me. God, this is a lot of reading. I love it! CLW Walker, Christopher Lawrence Walker. Walken. <laughs> it's Christopher Walken. The morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. What does that even mean? Like, my. 
MRI scans consistent with patients' reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Is that burly dude, Christopher Walken? Awesome, he's been working out a little. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with tau terra lizards and their parietal eyes. Just like Christopher Walken to do something crazy. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. He's never been kissed before. Or had Eskimo kisses. That's obviously it. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. I'm vibrating. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the morphogenic engine. I got it. Process. His predominant fixation. Why am I getting so many Snapchats? Amplified by therapy is a manic ex exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Chemical restraints. Like horse tranquilizers. Beaver tranquilizers. Oh, God, I should have peeked. There we are. Hey there, buddy. High five? No? I'm sure at some point my hand hit yours. Well, you look good for your age. What do you do? You just need... How do you see? Your eyes are sort of gone. Alright, I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna... Ficus. I'm just gonna continue on my... What are you guys watching? Ugh, let me join. I'll sit next to you. You like this place? It's a good show. I saw it on PBS before. Alright, guys. Oh, look at him. Gonna cry, bitch? Cry! Now I'm thinking with portals. There we are. Oh, no. Is he missing his head? Oh, no, he's not. Does he have his eyes? Oh, my God! I totally thought something was going to happen there. Are you good, though? Like, you're fine? Seriously, I'm one of the counselors here if you need to have it. What the fuck happened to you, dude? Close your mouth. You're like tails. You don't close your mouth. What am I riding down? What am I riding down? No, no, no. No, what the fuck am I riding down? Show me. Broken men... A crowd of broken men watching Dead Channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Is anyone home? Oh, no. Okay. He shook his head. At least he understood the question. And it's Bob! No! He wants to wrestle me. I don't have any oil on him, but you can keep touching me. I might be slippery if you spit on me a little. Did you just break my neck? He's the head collector. Hey! Seriously, dude, you can't be doing that. Hey, look at me. Oh, you're just gonna sit there and cry. I don't know what you're saying, dude, but come on, you can't be doing that to people. I swear. Remember the name Miles Upshur, bitch, I'll get you. You can't be doing that to people. Like, really, come on. That's just not cool. He wants to wrestle, but people might not want to wrestle. Oh, I have the security key. I could go to. Was it over here? It was over here. Is Miles having a problem while running? Yeah. <laughs> He's making some weird noises. Hey! You have a head? Me too. We could be friends. Oh! Cold chill. Sorry. Alright, we're hacking in. Security. Man, that was a hard code. But I finally got it after all that time. Oh my god. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Hey, it's you, weird camera dude. Now all the lights are off. Who touched my nipples? Oh, Jesus. I know you were here. Oh. Hey! Christopher Walken! I'm a really big fan of yours. Wait for it, not wait for it here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh! <laughs> I'm not home. I'm not here. I'm really, I'm fine. I'm not here. 
Oh, I died in one hit. I didn't know he'd break through in three fucking knocks. He's really good at that. He's very strong. Christopher Walken can't be stopped, man. There we go. Well, that's one death. I'm already up to a fucking terrible start. <laughs> Don't try to fight, but I'll sure catch this on tape and put it up on a porn website. Pretty sure he's naked, right? Could be on porn websites. Oh, yeah, that's fucking nice. Ooh, I'm writing something down. The big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for Christopher Walken. Ex-military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. What a boss. So I can catch things on my camera and it tells me about them. Well, I tell myself about them, technically. Thank God I wasn't in that locker. I bet a fucker was hiding there. Shit his pants when he opened it. He instantly killed him with his death gaze. Alright, porn website. You're gonna be thanking me for this one. God. Get the back of his bald head, too. That sort of looks like something disgusting. Hey, man. Alright, we gotta get some... They lie. Get a little bit of his ass on camera. Oh yeah, those pants are nice. Ooh, that gut! That's what the bitches pay for. Oh god, that bug scared me. <laughs> Seriously, the bug in front of me just scared me. It's really dark in here now. Someone should turn on some lights. Oh, I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, I am gonna go do that. Anyone here? No? On the road again, saving. Alright. Hypnotic experimentation and research on Wednesday 10, February 10, wait what? On Wednesday, February 10th, 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. 13 is my favorite number, by the way. Happened in third grade. My room number was 13 and my teacher made it a positive thing. A post-hypnotic of the night before pointed finger and you will sleep. Oh, okay, so it's like when they're hypnotized. You! sleep was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. They run some good experiments here. I should start my own asylums, and then I can do whatever the fuck I want. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out the suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded gun. There we go, at least there's some humanity here. At Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Awesome. Well, now we know things. And things lead to knowledge, and knowledge leads to power. But we're gonna end this for now. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you're enjoying. I am. I should probably drink caffeine, not really, maybe. More. More! This is not a red barrel! <laughs> is that seriously what that says? This is not a red barrel? Fuck, they're right! <laughs> well, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. My name is Jerry Joe. The ghost Ah, uh, yes. Thank God it shows me the location of the I'd want it to be. Oh, Jesus, where the fuck did you come from? You're blind! Oh, God, do they sleep on the roof? Like vampires? Are you guys vampires? Oh, God, it looks like the thing from the fucking descent. Where'd you go? Oh, Jesus! First you come from the roof, now you're teleporting? Alright, this is anti